Okay, so real quick. Vaccines are an artificial microbiome. They are an art in lieu of human contact. Well, why is that? Well, the thing with is so, what, what's so concerning right now with all the social distancing and the masks and the quarantines and all of that is what the elite the what the elite are trying to do is lower your immunity lower your tolerance to different microbiomes so the more they keep us apart the more that you are not exposing your body mind and spirit to other people the less you're able to adapt seamlessly to new microbiomes because when people intermix together just in a crowd we'll be exchanging um, antibodies because yes inevitably you will be spit upon by someone you'll touch the surfaces that have germs on it and so obviously you take on different uh, microbiomes that are made up of viruses parasites protozoa proteins fungus and bacteria and then it will then alter your biochemistry of fatty acid, amino acid, prohormones, and minerals, okay? So the microbiome in your biochemistry works symbiotically together and your immune system helps you adapt to so many different types of microbiomes. So that's why we didn't have like a huge like extinction of humanity as soon as one virus came in. It was just the fact that so many people were exposed to a major aggressive virus and they didn't have that seamless transition to the new aggressive entity. So that's why a lot of people have died when exposed to a new entity. But the death numbers have dwindled because people were adapting to that microbiome until the vaccines came around again and then switched up and mutated that virus. And then I'm sure it was bonded with other strains of viruses of which then created a new and different strain of why, why then you keep seeing an uptick of different um, reactions to this virus, the mutations of it. Okay, so what the elite are trying to do is put now different people's microbiomes from all the COVID testing, the DMABs and the MABs. DMABs is DNA monoclonal antibodies and MABs is monoclonal antibodies. And they get those monoclonal antibodies from all the culture testing, from the students in the universities that are having to submit to a culture test every freaking week. They do 300, 400 students like a day or a week or whatever at these universities and then all of these public testing centers where you're like, I want, I want to know if I'm positive or not or your employer is forcing you to go take a, a, a monoclonal antibody test. And so then if somebody comes up positive, they take those monoclonal antibodies, they, they then keep them and then it's, with, it's for biotech to go and create um, program antigen to then trigger antibodies in different bodies once it hits the biochemistry, okay? So in essence, all of this culture testing is like taking pieces of the population and then putting them together in a vaccine and then injecting you, keeping you all apart, okay? So that way you can't have a natural immunity or a natural adaptation to new environments. Immunity is like, yeah, it's like a death of the old world into a new world, but what happens is people are not regenerating and so they're getting all this immunity but no regeneration and that's why people die. And so that's why when you are not wearing a mask and you go into a crowded room like a bar and you haven't been exposed to COVID, some people do have aggressive symptoms and they're on ventilators in the ER. So we have those scenarios that, yeah, inevitably is going to happen because there are some people in the population that have very weak immune systems. And that means they have a weak uh, healing side, the weak prostaglandin expression part of their system. They have definitely a very strong immunity, which means they have a very strong antibody acquisition, antibody inducement. But the, the, the life side of their immune system has been suppressed. It's weakened. And so now they only have antibodies being produced, but there's no prostaglandins to offset that, to keep that balance. Because your immune system has like a yin and yang. It has a life side and a death side. The life side is the prostaglandins. The death side is the antibodies and the antigen um, programming. Okay? And so, so in essence, these vaccines that they're, they're, they're creating is taking up all the DNA of your whole population, putting them in a vaccine, and they're binding and bonding chemistry and proteins and viral proteins together. And so in essence, when you get a vaccine, it's no different than being exposed to like a group of people in a bar or a group of people in the freaking Amazon. So you don't have to go to the Amazon to get exposed to Amazonian viruses because it's going to be in the vaccine at some point. 
Hi, sugar. I see you. So that's what vaccines are. They're basically um, artificial microbiomes from across the world, from all over the U.S., as well as, as Russia and other places. Okay? Um, I might be skipping, so I'm going to stop. I see I'm not clear. So I'm going to go. But mark my words, you guys are going to be exposed to more microbiomes, and you're going to have to do the J-juice. You should do the J-juice while you're doing the vaccines. Do the J-juice while you're exposed to different people. Always do J-juice. Bye.